So what's happening here? If you examine carefully up to here, Samaa Un, there are three states and three forms. Three states and three shapes of the noun. Here, on the other hand, we have three states but two forms. So the form of the noun in nasab and jar is the same. And here, three states, only one form, and the shape doesn't change in rafa, nasab, or jar. So what we call these, this will be up to here, 85% of nouns will behave that way. Three states, two forms. 15% will behave like this. Three states, two forms. And 2% two will, be, will behave like this. Three states, only one form. They will not change their shape at all. Um, but it will not really be difficult to recognize them in a sentence because in English it was very easy. It's Hamid, Hamid, Hamid in English and we knew when was Hamid subject, when was Hamid object and when was Hamid additional in a possessive state. So it is not difficult to make that out. Although we said he, him, his, three different, but if we use she, that will be she, her, her and also in, in a sentence, we can make out where her is, what state, objective or a possessive state. So it becomes quite clear in a sentence, the composition of a sentence, the construction of a sentence. Uh, in the text before and after that, we will know exactly, in this case for example, where does it, which, which category does it fall, Rafa, Nasab, Arjar and similarly these as well. So we are going to study these two categories later on in detail. Um, there is another point which I want to make here at this stage and that is that um, if you look carefully here, I'm sure you have noticed that already, that when we write a noun in nasp, we add alif. This is a spelling rule, okay. It doesn't change the meaning of the noun, it's just a spelling rule, we add alif here. So majority of the nouns will take alif at the end of the word in state of nasb. However, there are two exceptions to this rule. There are rules and there will be exceptions. So we are going to study rules and we are also going to study exceptions to, to those rules. There will be only few rules, there will be no exception at all, but most of the time there will be exceptions. So in this case there are two exceptions. If a noun ends in tied up ta, the circular ta, then when we write in nasb, we do not add alif. <coughs> and the second thing is if a noun ends in hamza and before that we have alif, Again, we do not add alif here. So, these are two exceptions. On the other hand, you have also noticed here, I'm sure you have, that when in these, in this, in this category of nouns, when we write them in the nasab and the jar form, one, the appearance is the same, and second, when there is no mean, we do not add alif here. So Ibrahimu, Ibrahima, Ibrahima, Jahannamu, Jahannama, Jahannama, no alif here, Masajidu, Masajida, Masajida. So this category is called Munsarif, that's another terminology, we will be using it in which um, the change occurs all along Munsarif, Munsarif. And this category is called Garu Munsarif. Garu Munsarif. 
just remember the terminology. So, three forms Munsarif, two forms Gheru Munsarif, and here these nouns are fixed. They are called Mabni. Mabni Yun. Mabni. So, 2%, so 85% are Munsarif. 15% are Gairu Mansarif and only 2% are Mabni. They do not change at all. In any circumstances, they do not change at all. Um, I know this uh, lecture has become longer, but just to make the final point and uh, make sure we understand what Arab is, I'm going to give you another example here. Let's wipe this off. So, from the era point of view, known will be one of three categories, Rafa, Nasb, or Jar, state of Jar. And I'm going to write here word Jannatun. Garden. Here it will be Jannatan and here it's going to be Jannatin. Okay. So the change has occurred in the end part, the terminal part of the noun and that's what Arab is. On the other hand, if I write similar words here like I will write for example Jinnatun is Radhan Fatha is Kasra here Jinnatun and another word will be Jinnatun with Dhamma Jinnatun Jinnatun is garden Jinnatun is madness you can see the word jinn in it I, I think jinnatan is madness and jinnatan is um, a shield a protection okay so what's happening here is that um, the change has occurred in the first part of the word of the noun that change is not Arab that change will change the meaning of the noun but Arabic change which occurs in the terminal part of a word of a noun that will not change the meaning of the noun it will only change the status of a noun in a sentence so I hope the concept of Arab has become clear here the concept of Arab is going to evolve as we go along on this journey of learning Arabic grammar just the last point before I stop, uh, Imran Khan, this is not political at all by the way, how do we write Imran, no, Imran we write with N, Imran Khan, so when he was cricketer, he was Imran Khan, now he is Prime Minister, he is still Imran Khan. So status of Imran Khan has changed, but the meaning of Imran Khan hasn't changed. I hope that has made sense to you. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashwadu Allah ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. نحمد 